5 Important Lessons Young People Should Learn From Jakob Fugger Jakob Fugger, also known as Jakob Fugger the Rich, born on the 6th of March 1459, was a German mining entrepreneur and banker and was one of Renaissance Europe's wealthiest citizens. His impact in royal circles continued to affect the continent's history for many years after his death. And although he was not the founder of the German mercantile and banking dynasty that bore his name, Fuga improved it greatly by entering into profitable financial contracts with the Roman Empire that gave him land holdings as well as profitable concessions in mining and trade. At the time of his death, on December 30, 1525, Fuga's net worth was $221 billion in today's currency. So how did Jacob Fuga accumulate so much wealth and what can young people learn from him? In this video, we'll share with you 5 important lessons young people should learn from Jakob Fuga. If you're new here, consider subscribing so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Lesson 1. Don't think you are too young Jakob Fuga was the youngest of the Fuga children and his elder brother, Urich, had taken over the family business. However, at the age of 14, Fuga was already representing his family business in Venice. He began his education at the same age when he stayed as an apprentice at the Fandasco dei Tedeschi, the house of a German merchant in Venice between 1473 and 1487, where he learned banking and metal trade. As a young man, Fuga dealt in the trade of valuable species supplied from Asia at a high cost, which is sold at a large markup to Europe's wealthy families. Fuga also took advantage of his family's control of the mines in Central Europe to monopolize the copper market. With the profits from these and other operations, he began loaning money to kings, to hard-pressed members of nobility and to the church. Lesson for the young people You are not too young to aim for riches. If you have a dream, start as soon as possible. Your age is just a number. You can have a 50-year-old brain inside a 15-year-old body. Lesson 2 Be smart and innovative Fuga was known to be an extremely clever man and he was known for his ability to produce large amounts of money in an instant something he knew that the aristocrats couldn't live without. These lenders never liked his terms for loans but they were usually left with no choice. Thus, he became indispensable to them. Fuga also understood the value of good information. He was the one that created the world's first news service, the Fuga Newsletters, and used it to find out about important news and developments long before others. Sometime between 1507 and 1514, Emperor Maximilian, the grandfather of Charles V, once told Fuga that Henry VI had shipped him some gold as collateral for a loan to fight the French. Fuga, being the smart man he was, refused the deal because his spies in England had informed him that the ship never left the port. An Italian invented double-entry bookkeeping, a modern form of accounting in 1494, and Fuga was among the first in Europe to use it. He advanced the craft by creating a consolidated balance sheet for his many businesses because he could see the big picture better than any of his competitors. He was also the first to send his auditors into the field to check on activities within the branch. His ledgers were known to show scribbling in the margins, asking questions about specific items. This method kept him abreast of his company's revenue and profits and further improved his abilities as a businessman. Lesson for the young people Make sure you are always abreast of current information. The world today is even more advantageous for young people because you are born in the age of technology. Research, invent, and create. Be innovative in your ideals and let those innovations make you rich. Lesson 3. 
develop meaningful relationships. In 1498, Fuga married the daughter of an eminent Grand Burger of Augsburg, Sibylla Artis, Grand Burgeress to Augsburg. They were not able to have children, but this marriage gave Fuga the opportunity to become Grand Burger of Augsburg, a title that later allowed him to pursue a seat on the city council of Augsburg. He was later elevated to the realm of the nobility of the Roman Empire in May 1511, created the imperial court in 1514 and in the 1519 election for the Roman Emperor played kingmaker when he led a group of German and Italian businessmen that loaned Charles V of Spain 850,000 florins, about 95,625 ores of gold to procure his election which put Charles on top of an empire. Fuga's personal contribution was 543,000 florins. Lesson for the young people You may not know this yet, but the connections you make have the potential of taking you places and of paving the way to greater success. You can't have meaningful net worth if you don't have meaningful networks. Lesson 4 Be loyal to those who can help you Fuga had been in support of the royal family from 1489 when he first met Maximilian I, who was a co-regent of the Holy Roman Empire at the time. When Maximilian's father died in 1493 and he became reigning emperor, the constant financial difficulties he faced due to his extravagant lifestyle and failed political projects were offset by Fuga, who funded advantageous marriage arrangements with the kingdoms of Spain, Bohemia and Hungary. This loyalty to the House of Habsburg earned him the title of Imperial Count in 1514, a position that gave him access to more wealth. Lesson for the Young People You may have heard this saying by Colin Powell, Success is the result of perfection, hard work, learning from failure, loyalty and persistence. Success always follows actions of loyalty. Be loyal to those that have the power to impact your life positively and you will see that loyalty rewards in ways that makes you successful. Lesson 5. Give back to the society In 1523, 52 houses of an estate called the Fugerai were built by Fuga. It was originally an arms house intended to serve as a retirement home for his aged servants. The Fugerai is the oldest social housing still in use and was the world's first social settlement. It was built to house two families, each consisting of people who were in difficult situations by no fault of theirs until they could establish a stable household. The yearly rent was one guilder. About 150 people live in the Fugeri today and the annual rent is equivalent to one guilder. Lesson for the young people The society plays an important role in your success story. So, giving back to society is equivalent to paying a debt. It is that important. Fuga definitely thought of society when he started building the Fugerai. Most people remember him because of the Fugerai. It is a legacy he left behind. People may not remember you as a successful person, but that little thing you will do for society will print your name in the hearts of many, even in generations to come. In conclusion, if you are a young person and you want to be successful and wealthy in life, never look down on yourself. Don't think you are young to pursue your dreams. Be smart and creative. Think deep. Challenge status quo. Remain loyal to those who can help your dreams. Make plans for the future beyond your success. Don't think that because you are young, it is too early to think about the future because it's not. Success is not only about the amount of wealth that you amass but also the lives that you can change for the better in the process. We hope the life of Jacob Fuga has taught you a few things that will push you farther in your quest for success. Thank you for watching our videos. We'd like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy 
if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.